Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem four at chapter eight. This chapter is about the conservation of energy. We can see we have a hiker. The mass is given, and it moves from y one to y two, and y one and y two is given in the y component, right? First one asks you the change in potential energy. So that means we use our final potential energy minus initial potential. Potential energy. We can get the change in potential energy. The final potential energy is mg y two, and the minus initial potential energy mg y one. In this way, we get the delta u. This is the change of the potential energy. The second one asks you the minimum work required for the hiker because the hiker moves from y one to y two. It must do the work to satisfy this change in. Uh, potential energy. This is the conservation of of the energy, right? So the minimum work is required for the hiker is just equal to the change of potential energy. The third one asks you, can the actual work done be greater than this? Yes, because we can see in this process we see the change of the potential from position from y one to y two. We just consider the the gravitational potential energy, right? And there, we can also consider the friction because during the hiker do the hiking, and there must be friction, friction between the, uh, the shoes, the hiker's shoes with the road. So friction also do the work. This part we didn't consider, and and also when the hiker from y one to y two at y two, he may have the velocity right. This one is kinetic energy we didn't consider. So the actual work done may be greater than this. And there you can input the known quantities and get the final answer. Thank you.